Watching the football game. Give me a joke. Come on, hurry. Fast right. one. Jeremy knows some good lawn jokes. No. Nope. <laughs> Tell Mom me. loves those. Come on, Jeremy. Ask Jeremy. He knows some good ones. Come on, Laura. Tell us a joke. Mom can eat all these. Oh no way.
Get some manners. <laughs> yeah, I'll you does too. You gotta flip it over by hand. Sort of halfway, and then halfway with the plane. Did you buy it? But it felt kind of brutal. And then you're gonna throw it out with a short clip, and it's like a beat on it. Jerry, get out of the way. See your bald head. Yeah, right. Look. Oh yeah. Let me get a close up. Hold on. <laughs> to record this. I got the date and everything. Let's see what it looks like ten years. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay, lift up your belly. <laughs> uh, don't lift anymore, wait. Oh. Well wait, you talking to me or your wife? <laughs> ooh, she said, ooh. Where'd the boys go? Down the street. They're looking for that wolf. Window down, Jerry. Oh. Got, put it in the keyhole and turn it left. Joe, it's dropped out of your pocket. What is it? I don't know. Hey, get away from the truck. Cigarette lighter. Look, so honey. Jerry! What is it? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Dustin, you want to hear something funny? Cody, turn his face this way. Joe, come on, the spaghetti's ready. Joe smells. We're eating out here. Look at the camera. We're all eating out here. Bring it out here. Justin, the spaghetti's ready. No, right back here. I couldn't reach it. Cody. Oh. Cody. We'll let the tailgate down. Oh no, climb back there. That's good, Jer. Climb back there. Go to you, Pop. Go Tupac. What's his Jeremy name? could be the next future Tupac, couldn't he? Yeah, he could. <laughs> Don't be He'll split his pants when so he's trying to rap and stuff. Hey, I farted in the car. He did, really? No. 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 Move. Where's Tupac? Thanks, Jer. Raise the roof. Tupac. I can do this all day. You're awesome. <laughs> Don't no, you I break it. Car. It's not a rental car. Honest, honest, it's 20 years old. Four runners haven't been around. Haven't been around 20 years. Oh, yeah. How do you guys know? Dustin! 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 What? Dustin, why do Come on. Joe, look at Put this. Put the bag in the Do this, go. You're teasing me. Boy. Pot. It's not a You don't want to eat, you don't have to. I will. Joe doesn't want to eat. Joe should be
Oh, what about sunshine? She's a good dog, too. Do you get it for everybody or just yourself? This is dinner. Okay, we dinner. Laura, did you cook dinner? Did you cook dinner? Is that Tennessee spaghetti? Yeah. Did you want a salad? No. Yeah, we're all having salad. Joe could eat two salads. Three salads. Cody, Dustin, come. I'll lift that dog up. Come here, Bonnie. Bonnie? Jeremy? Bonnie? Bonnie? Jeff Brothers, that's me. Bonnie? Come here, Bonnie. Bonnie? Come here. Dustin, you sitting right here? Jeremy's sitting right here. I'm sitting here. Jeremy's sitting right there. I'm sitting. That's his. Smoky mom. Chocolate. Smoky mom. Chocolate. Chocolate. Um. Yeah. So good. Brownie spot. Uh, stop. The skill. You want brownie? Look at that mouth, it's full of brownies. Hold on, let me get a close up. Ooh, that looks so good. No, I'm, I'm done, no way. I'm so full. Go ahead and have some more. Have we decided to stay here and watch fire? Oh, you snuck those safe, didn't you? Yeah. A little bit easy. Hey, don't throw stuff at it, Cody. On Channel 3 News. No, no, you, Brownies. Best grandma in Brownies. the world. Best grandma Fijolas. in San Diego. Fiolas. 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 He learns. Let the dog have it. He's good at Spanish. Fiolas. Fiolas. Frioli. Frioles. Frioles. Is that good, Grandma? I think so. Salad is Were you hungry? How do you put up with all these dogs barking around here? Tim's. Where is Tim? They he, went to Coronado. He went to Coronado. They just left. They came up the driveway and wanted to know if we wanted to go. Oh, you know why? Because hmm. it's foggy over there. Oh. It's what? It's foggy over there. Chilly. They said El Cajon have the big, biggest fire, or best fireworks because they don't have fog. 
charger all day and it's already blinking it's already out right now but then there must be something wrong with them the batteries yeah they're dead <laughs> see what <laughs> <laughs> it's like this <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't changed a bit uh -uh. it looks god damn it's as big as Danny <laughs> oh Danny <laughs> Joe get it <laughs> look what's happening it's more than anyone that you adore and love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game <laughs> for two. Two with love can make it take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for you and you. Love is for the way you look at me. Love is for the only one I see. V is very, very extraordinary. He is even more than anyone that you would know. Everyone yeah. is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it take my heart and please don't break in love. Now they're bringing bubbles to all of you so we can have a bubble toast. Okay? So pass them out, girls. Tommy? 
Yeah, he's eating extra. Give him my film. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. Hey, Dan. Come on, Dan. The movie star. Man, look at them dimples. All you have to do is lift the little lid. Where'd that go? Man, it's hard to keep track of these two. Never stay together 50 years. Yeah, they hardly ever stay together 50 years. You're right. They can't even stay together at a party. Dorothy, South Dakota. Ed and Dora and their five kids. 
Mary and I became the best of friends that will last our lifetime. She was a bridesmaid. Dorothy was a little sister always tagging along. I was very sad when they decided to move to Stockton. In 1951, we went to California to take Sai's sister Zelda out to be married. This was our first meeting with Dorothy's shrews, and believe me, it was some meeting. Fact of the matter is, we didn't know his name was Harold until 30 years after we met him. <laughs> he, being a Navy man, was all full of smarts. Me, being a young wife from a small town in South Dakota, knew nothing whatsoever of the workings of the big city. Needless to say, I played right into his hands, and you know what that means to my dad. <laughs> And he had a heyday. He would bring us back and forth to our motel, and the first thing I knew, this and that was missing. Then the next day it was back, and so on and so forth. He always stood in the door and visited a minute. We all went out to dinner and dancing one evening. Little did we know that this is one of the places he made the rounds. So he knew the owner well. On our little table was a darling lamp, and I just casually mentioned that it was cute. When we left and we were about a third of the way down the block, the owner came running out and started yelling that we, that we had stole his lamp and bring it back or he would call the police. My heart literally stopped because around the corner came a policeman. Shrews opened his jacket and said, oh this, we thought it was free. Should have known that Dorothy was in on it. She didn't get the least bit excited. We got into the car and headed for home. Shrew said that maybe we would go by way of Skid Row, and no one else said a word. It didn't make any difference to me, as I didn't know the names of their streets. <laughs> it sounds like some of my dad would do. Well, let me tell you, I soon found out I couldn't believe all the bums laying around and all over the road. I was getting a little scared, and I said, can't we just go home, please? And Shrew said, sure. Turn right here. He knew it was a one-way street, and I didn't. The wrong way. Pretty soon, everybody was yelling at us and hollering at us. But we will always remember our four-day visit as the wildest, scariest, and happiest vacation we ever had. Many thanks to Dorothy and Shrews and Mary and their family. Amen. Come on, I got another hour and a half so it leaked and all the books were drowned and there was Mr. Shrewsbury right there at 7 o'clock in the morning sweeping out. And time went on, then we were nice and quiet in the convent when suddenly somebody came rushing to the superior's door. with Sister Mara there. Sister, Sister Mother, there's a water coming out from under the, under the furnace. What? Water! Everybody said, don't open the door, do open the door, don't open Quick, get shrews! <laughs> and sure, he spent two hours cleaning out that place, yet the whole thing had burst. I could tell you many more things down the street. We were, Sister Moore and I went for a little gallivant one night, just to get away from everything for a short while after a port card. And we stopped by the sea, but the card decided it wasn't coming home. It stopped too. And again, we got somebody looking, get shrews to take us home. I can tell you all the miserable things that he took us out of. But then, look what we did for him. We took his most miserable one out. We took her away. All the trouble. 
we want to congratulate two of the most wonderful parents that we ever had. Two of the most wonderful, always so good, so reliable, and sure, God must have a great reward for them. Thank you. from the Lord up I think we'll have a toast now. Just raise whatever you uh, drink whatever you have in front of you. Want some coffee? Have some coffee. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> no, it didn't look like, like, like a cork was going to win there for a second. Oh, he looks like a Marine. He doesn't look like no other day I'm saying. Short hair. Yeah, I told him. Well, that's where you get a new kid. I want my hair short. All right. Oh, I don't know them, so I couldn't direct you. I better go look. Okay, you hurry up. You guys being good? Who's winning? Let me see. Show me how to do that. Oh my God! One more time.
only believe it. Why don't you take the lid off the cover off that? No. He taught me. Yeah. Yeah. Your dad and I taught you this. That's thing. right. That's right. How to swing the. Ta hammer. Taught me how to be carpenters too. How to be what? <laughs> How to try to get them to work. <laughs> That's how she keeps her girl's finger. <laughs> how does he keep his? Yeah, you know, I try. How do you keep yours, Patty? I don't. Aloha. 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 Actually, Uncle Shoes. Think of Joe Mama, because I'm not your mama. I'm Joe Mama. Joe is tonight. Oh, there's the baby. Exactly. 
I had some of that.
seen today. These kids, I don't know what to say. They're learning, that's all we can say. Oh, that's an intelligent game he's playing there too. Uh, okay. Huck Cody. Dang it. It's the man with a big hand coming in to help him. Oops, I got a wait till mom move. Whack! 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 Hey, if you know how to do this thing, push your head down there. Gotta hurt. Oh. <laughs> 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 Does it feel better? Yeah, rub the neck there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That feels better. Come on, you can do it, kiddo. Not up there. <laughs> deep, deep in theory here. <laughs> well, if he can't destroy it or eat it, he doesn't want it. Okay. Oh, 